Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you a very great project for beginners. It uses a so just a chain, a slip stitch, single crochet, and double crochet. So instead of making swatches and making your 150th uh, washcloth or or trivet or hot pad, you can make something else that's really cute. I got one of these. It's my little bookworm. I actually got one of these guys. I'm going to set him here. I got one of these when I was in first grade from our librarian and I always thought he was great. He was just cutest. Um, our librarian, we had a little contest to see who could read the most books in first grade and I won this little guy and he's a great little bookmark as you can see. Hold your spot without bending pages. I just love him. Our particular school district and our elementary schools don't allow you to bring in like cupcakes and candy and things for birthdays anymore so you have to bring in non-edible things. I made a whole mess of these for my daughter when she was probably in third grade to bring as her little birthday present thing for all of her friends and they thought they were great and the librarian actually asked me how I made them so I thought that was pretty cool. They crochet up very very quickly. I made this one right here this little guy made this little guy out of peaches and cream and this one is sail away stripes so you can see how the great the colors are just great when you have the the stripey yarns and things they just turn out really fun every one of them almost every one of them ends up being quite unique especially when you're doing these kind of stripes so today I am going to use I'm going to move this little guy so today, move all these guys. I have all of these. These are all leftovers from my daughter's birthday. Aren't they cute? <laughs> it's just a little curly cute. But I'm going to move them over. And today I'm going to use, this is also peaches and cream. It's a nice cotton. And I forget which one is this. Strawberries? Strawberry stripes. So it's going to work up kind of like this little guy but it's going to be a little bit um, less stripes. So we're going to try this guy right now. So if you're already familiar with you're already familiar with your single crochets and double crochets if, instead of making another swatch just make this little guy. It won't take very long at all. So we're going to start oh, with the slip knot. However you like to make a slip knot is up to you. And the one that I have and this book and this little guy right here are all starting with a chain of 67. So we're going to chain up to 67. There we go. I have a chain. Whoopsie. There we go. Chain of 67. And here, this is going to be the start. And now we're going to do a curly cue on top of it. So in case you're wondering, how do I, how on earth do you get this thing to twist like that? It's really, really easy. Move that out of the way. All right. So after you've chained your 67, you have a nice long chain. We're going to into the second chain from the hook. Really, the first place that you can actually work this little guy. Oopsie, this little guy right here. We're going to put a single crochet and four double crochets in that same little chain. That was in the very first chain. So that's the second chain from the hook. There was a single crochet and four double crochets in that same spot. Now for the next 15 chains down here, we are going to put in five double crochets in each chain. So I will meet you down here in a little bit. I'll show you this first one here. In this very next little chain right here, this little guy. We're going to go one double crochet, yarn over, pull through, pull through again. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, there's two, 
three, four, and five. So there you go. Right there. We're going to do that 14 more times. So I'll meet you back here when you've gotten your 15 double crochet or five double crochets in the next 15 chains. And I'll meet you down right about down here. Stitch. I'm going to put five. This is stitch number 15 or chain number 15. I'm going to put five double crochets in this little guy right here. One double crochet, two, three, four, and five. All right. See how quickly that. See how quickly that happened? Now it looks kind of wonky. Oh, all you have to do is twist him up a little bit. And there you go. Isn't he cute? He's so adorable. I just love him. And we all know I love pink. So there's a cutie pants. All right, there's a cute guy. He's got a little curly cue on top. We did our 15 chains of five double crochet in each. Now we are just going to in the very next chain starting right there should be able to see them pretty easily you shouldn't get too tight all of these all the rest of them all the way down are going to be single crochets all the way to the end really easy should be 50 but we're going to start right here at the very next stitch 50 single crochets one in each of the last or each of these chains down his tail. So here we go. I'll meet you down at the end. One. stitches we got a single crochet number one single crochet number two and here's our very last stitch there we go isn't he adorable 
or probably she since it's pink. That adorable. So cute. So easy. So fast. Only thing left to do is do one little slip stitch and fasten off. I'm going to fasten this little guy off. And you just pull through. Take the starting tail and the ending tail and I just tie them together. Do a little knot. You can fray these out if you wanted to make them all fluffy. You can cut them off and leave them there. Trim them up. We'll just trim these guys up and leave them long. They'll be cute that way. But there he is. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. I love him. You see how quickly these go up. All you do is whatever yarn you think is cute and the matching hook according to the little sleeve. And these you can have these done in about, oh, I don't know, what, 10 minutes did that take? 10 minutes. And I made... 30 of these for my daughter's classes and they all got to pick and everybody was really excited so I thought that was really fun this is an easy one for a beginner or somebody who wants to make a, a whole bunch of stocking stuffers or little treat bags party party loot bags all those kind of things these are super fast super fun and they're really cute and you can make them any color you want so there we go that's my little fun guy for the day. Really fast, really simple, only uses single and double crochets along with of course the chains. Singles and double crochets you can practice your stitches as much as you need instead of just making swatches and squares and hot pads and trivets. Make something cute that's usable. Everybody has a book. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your support supporting my small business and please subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot thank you have a great day we'll see you soon bye